Hey everyone, apparently these days men are the, 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 the brunt of every joke. Oh, white men in particular, but men in general, but definitely white men in particular, but we're not just the brunt of every joke, but seemingly every hit piece, article, news report, study, right? I mean, just think about it now. I mean, and think about the, this. Here, here's just something for you to ponder on. This is just something I'm trying to think of, folks. It's white men that are constantly being viciously attacked these days. And yet, the pretense is that white men are all in these positions of power and control. Meanwhile, if they were, don't you think they'd silence and suppress the people that are telling them they're the worst kind of people? Yet, you're not seeing that happen, right? So that probably should tell you, at the very least, who's truly in charge, who's truly pulling the strings as far as academia, the media, and big government. Doesn't seem to be white men, now does it? And if so, well then, apparently white men, we can add one more insult to the equation. They're the most incompetent people on the planet and lack any capacity to defend themselves. But even that, I guess, destroys the concept of toxic masculinity, doesn't it? Anyways, as you realize, everybody's covering this topic. It's big time trending, and for good reason. It's, it's a blatant, vicious attack a collective attack on men, and predominantly white men. If you've watched the ad and the commercial, it's, it's so unrepresentative of reality that it's, it's disgusting. You know, it really is. And I, I think of all the young men or young boys that are being raised in this kind of toxic environment, this kind of hateful environment. You want to talk about toxic, right? Holy shit. The people that are putting out this kind of vitriol. And collectivizing all men and painting them as if they're just the worst kind of people on the planet. <laughs> that seems quite toxic. Much more toxic than, you know, a man, hey lady, or or someone that whistles at a lady because she's pretty or something. <laughs> That's toxic, but yet doing this kind of shit is somehow, what, applauding and praised by the, the SJWs, the feminists. And the big government collectivists and the media mouthpieces out there these days, like I say, I'll leave it up to you to decide who's being genuine, honest, and objective. And who's being vengeful, petty, and vindictive. Headline out of CBC News. I don't know why it's under the business section, I guess, because it deals with Gillette, a corporation, whatever. But that's a, by the way, before I start into this, yeah, I don't, I don't even buy Gillette products anyways. Not, not because of this. This is before that. I, I, I'm a dollar shave club kind of guy. <laughs> I'm not a wealthy man. I'm not rich beyond belief like some people are. So yeah, I try to save money when I get the opportunity to do so. And I found that the dollar shave club is a great value. And of course, shaving cream or after shaving. Yeah, there's so many products out there. Why would I feel like I have to go to Gillette? It's usually some of the most expensive brands on the market. So no, I don't need it. Don't need it. No, making me think about the kind of people they're trying to cater to, too, right? Hmm, a little bit upper class, a little bit snobby, the ones that want the supposedly best of the best, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's delve into this article. Like I say, CBC News Business Analysis, the best a man can get, why some men are brushing off Gillette's ad campaign. Unlike women, men aren't used to seeing an ad urging them to change bad habits. This is being reported by Sophia Harris, January 16th, 2019. So we're going to have, you know, some women explaining about men's issues and men's toxic masculinity here by Sophia. We haven't even started into the article and think about the optics presented so far. Gillette's provocative new ad encouraging men to fight toxic masculinity has sparked a backlash. For those who applaud the commercial, it may appear strange that its seemingly positive message about stamping out bullying and sexual harassment has sparked anger and hurt feelings. But this is somewhat new terrain in the advertising world telling men something's broken and they need to work together to fix it. As a result, some are finding the message hard to take. For generations, women have been bombarded with self-improvement ads, mainly focused on their appearance. But advertising targeting men often portrays them as lovable, clueless dads and the alpha male who gets the girl. Just check out previous Gillette Razor ads when women can't keep their hands off freshly shaven men. It was always about a clean shaven face got you either kissed or stroked by a beautiful woman, said marketing consultant Tony Chapman. Now suddenly men are sent a moral message about their masculinity instead of the problems of sex and some aren't thrilled about it. For men, 
This is brand new territory. No wonder they're so angry, writes Rebecca Reed with the Daily Telegraph in a commentary on a on the Gillette ad. But, I mean, just think about it. I mean, these ladies that are already talking about this are saying, oh, all these ads are, are, are targeting campaigns in the past were all terrible when they were used towards women. And they're saying, well, now men are getting to see what it's like. And, hey, how you like it, right? <laughs> Don't you think the best idea, if you're a good, decent, moral person, instead of doubling down on this kind of sexually divisive or demeaning kind of targeting or ads, don't you think you should, instead of doubling down on that, don't you think we should be pushing for a suppression of this kind of stuff? <laughs> like I say, but but the, these women are basically saying, hey, we've, been had, we've had to suffer this for so long, now it's your turn, right? What 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 kind of message are these ladies trying to send out there is they're vindictive, petty, resentful, angry, and willing to forgo any semblance of morality or ethics as long as they get to see men being targeted and revel in the glory of seeing that happen. Anyways, like I say, I'm not I'm not even gonna read much in this article. I mean, come on, it's a CBC News hit piece that basically fully defends this this just so destructive ad this this like i say hit piece from gillette targeting men and boys and i mean come on like listen ladies if you want men to step up the plate and be good men when the hell has it ever worked out for you that you treat them like sex class citizens or constantly be pointing your finger at them as if they're the most pe terrible disgusting people on the planet what what kind of strategy do you think you got going on there where do you think that that's going to work out good for you what what is going on in your brain to think that you're constantly telling men that they're the worst of the worst and basically just rapists that are running around having to constantly ooh suppress their inner rapist right as they go through their daily lives like how do you think that's a good message to send to boys or men apparently you don't understand the male psychology at all i mean that that's just a truthful statement just by sheer fact of, of the way these people these ladies are talking about this particular subject this particular act anyways like i said this has been over talked about i didn't even really want to delve into it, to be honest with you but i figured that you know I, I should at least put forth my own voice in regards to the topic in regards to the subject and yeah this this was just it was it was a bad idea bad marketing and i mean sure whether they benefit from it or I, economically who cares that's not that shouldn't be the measure even as a capitalist i ain't going to measure everything based on economics right morality has to matter too ethics has to matter too the left apparently don't seem to want to recognize or acknowledge that but libertarians well what's that say to you folks it's the canadian libertarian and i love liberty